Well, hello, people. <laughs> it's been a long time, but I wanted to do an apartment hunt video. I actually went back home to Chicago during the summer. My sister and I took her two girls because I was contemplating moving back. I got my nursing license there just to be prepared. And I really wanted to just kind of take it all in and think about uh, what move I wanted to make next. Uh, I love Chicago. I miss it every single year, especially in the summertime. But there's pros and cons for both Chicago and Tulsa. And going there made me um, just weigh everything a lot more accurately. And ultimately, I decided to look for a place in Tulsa. This is my old place. It was very, very cute. But most pre-war apartments are going to win my heart because they're so charming. There's so many windows and so much character in older apartments. And it was a very spacious apartment as well. The arches that led from room to room was like, I'd never seen that in an apartment before. And so <laughs> my landlord actually sold this place. So it wasn't an option to rent here again. It even had a backyard where I was growing vegetables and different herbs. And so it was right up my alley. The only thing I really did not like was the bathroom and the kitchen. They were old, not vintage cute old, but just kind of worn down. And so during the pandemic, I actually, my mom and I decided to stay in her house together. It actually gave me the opportunity to garden a lot more. She has a big backyard and so I grew lots of vegetables and lots of herbs and just tried to sharpen my gardening skills and um, yeah, before you get that homestead, you kind of need to know what you're doing. <laughs> and so I learned how to grow a lot of um, new things. I also took care of the yard. I do all of her gardening and things had really gotten crazy um, when I moved out because I wasn't over as much. And so um, I tried to make those spaces beautiful again and be a good steward, right, of things that you have. And so... That was really fun and really needed for me to be there at that time. So the first place I saw is in the Kendall Whittier Square neighborhood and it was 1070. This place did not have tons of character. However, it did have tons of natural light and closet space. It was a little bit awkward in the layout to me I guess I've never had a room so rectangular that's the little balcony by the way but it did have a lot of space at least enough space for me and the kitchen is what I adored the most um, it was newer and fresh and clean lots of cabinet space um, the bathroom was the same it was actually a really big bathroom with a big countertop and a big soaker tub. I really liked the tub actually. <laughs> it felt a little bit like a spa, especially if you used to vintage spaces that feel a little crummy. Um, washer and dryer comes with the unit. This is actually a two bedroom. They each have a pretty nice size closet. I was looking for a one bedroom, however, they had this available and so it's an option one bedrooms that i'm finding now in tulsa because there's not a lot of apartments open are borderline almost a thousand dollars anyway and so why not get a two bedroom for a little bit over a thousand i can just have more space it has a washer and dryer i really like that it has two gyms and i didn't show it because it was one person in there and i didn't want to I don't know. I don't want to take video and someone's working out. Um, but it had this amazing community like room that you can rent out for parties and things like that. I thought that was really nice. And I showed one of them. It's a huge room. And um, I think that's a really great free event space. So I like the amenities. It should be fun. This is fun. Not stressful at all, right? So the next morning before seeing the second apartment, I went to my favorite breakfast spot called Queenie's. They actually have breakfast and brunch and lunch, I believe, but I just love their breakfast. 
and it was right by the second apartment which is in the Cherry Street District. This had carpet. I just told the landlord that I just can't do carpet and so he said I have the perfect place for you. So we went about two blocks down the road and this place was amazing. The closet spaces were just incredible. Um, yeah, look at that view and the floors. They were just glossy and I don't know. He really fixed this place up to be amazing. It did not have a creepy, nasty, grimy feel in the restroom. And I really loved that. This is another amazing closet. I mean, everything was just finished so nicely. The landlord was very competent and he seemed like he took pride in his place. I did not love the kitchen primarily because of this tile that was on the countertops. Um, I don't really know what that was about. As well as also, it looked as if the window was painted shut. And that's something I see a lot in vintage apartments in Tulsa. I don't know why they do that, but probably so they don't have to replace them. I'm not sure. But as soon as I turned back around, I was reminded of how much I love this place. It did have a washer and dryer room, but I also have a washer and dryer in storage, so that wouldn't be a problem. And who doesn't love a full fireplace? Um, so this was very, a good contender. Like this is South Tulsa and it's about 850. I viewed actually a couple of places like this where they show you the model apartment and not the actual apartment. I did not want to do this, move into a place that I'd never seen the actual apartment. So I just wiped it off the list. The model apartment is always going to look amazing. And so... I just didn't want any surprises, so I finally chose, drum roll, the first apartment. <laughs> so mainly it was because of the kitchen and the bathroom. I like this fresh apartment. It's not a vintage one, but I really do think that I can just add my own touches and be perfectly fine here. I also love the neighborhood. It's where the Tulsa Farmer's Market is held. And we actually had this fall, a fall festival, which I had my favorite tacos ever. Really nice Mexican restaurants in this area. Actually, the neighborhood is, um, I don't know if it's predominantly Mexican, but there's a big Mexican influence in this neighborhood. This is a Mexican art gallery where I purchased some art. I actually can't wait to buy more stuff from there. <laughs> but the independent theaters nearby, I actually went to the Greenwood Film Festival, which is a black film festival that happens right here in Tulsa annually. So that's really cool. So yeah, there's vintage buildings everywhere. I found a really cool Mexican bakery. I absolutely love their coffee. And so I really like supporting the local businesses in this area. And so I do not regret my decision. I'm still around my lovely family, as wacky as they can be. And we had a wonderful Christmas. I drove her home, by the way, don't worry. One margarita, believe it or not. <laughs> but thanks guys for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like this video. I plan to make more videos about Tulsa and just a lot of people don't know about it. I definitely didn't before I moved here. And so hopefully you, you enjoy those as well. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.